while incentivizing good behavior for South Carolina inmates. They want to use it, officials want to use that to help maintain family bonds while they're incarcerated, and they're hoping to accomplish that by promoting literacy. Those are the commendable goals of a unique program within South Carolina prisons. State House reporter Mary Green has more love of a child can't be stopped by prison walls, it can't be stopped by separation. A parent loves a child no matter what. These special books help remind hundreds of South Carolina children of that truth when their parents can't physically be with them. There is also a child that their house burned down and all they wanted was that book from their dad. Um, and if that doesn't um, just bring bring home what this means to these children and that connection, nothing will. Through a unique South Carolina Department of Corrections program, inmates in all 21 state prisons can record themselves reading bedtime stories to their children living on the other side of the prison walls. Then the children receive the books with the recordings of their parents' voice inside. This provides one avenue of hope and connection among families that I think will will change families. The initiative was developed in 2016, but it got a new name Wednesday at the State House, Riley's Readers. Governor Riley's name has been synonymous with education for a long time, and I think there's no more appropriate name for this this program. Former U.S. Secretary of Education and South Carolina Governor Dick Riley saw firsthand the program that now bears his name back in 2018 at Kirkland Correctional Institution in Columbia. What I saw today was remarkable. It was heartwarming, really, to see the happiness of the uh, inmates, it means a lot to them. To participate, inmates have to be discipline free for at least six months. Corrections Director Brian Sterling says programs like this are needed to reduce recidivism in South Carolina, including by keeping hope alive for what life can be like after inmates serve their time. Education uh, is vitally important to um, stopping the, the cycle of uh, incrimination. Um, and then it's also vitally important to um, returning safely to society for that job, for that future, for that connection to, um, to society. And nearly 500 books with recordings have been given to inmates' families since this program started, all of them funded through private donations. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green. All right, Mary, thank you. Director Sterling also says that, to his knowledge, this is the only program of its kind in any state prison system in the country.